Hello and welcome to Immigration Talk Show. Today we got a very exciting story about a young engineer who's making headlines and shaking things up in the world of tech and government. His name is Akash Boba. I'm sure you might have not heard of him yet, but trust me, you'll want to. He's only 22 of Indian origin and has already secured a major role in Doge. But here's the twist. Doge isn't a tech company or a startup. It's a law and mass department of government efficiency. And in this video, we are diving into who Akash Boba is, his incredible journey so far, and what does this appointment means for both him and the future of government technology. So stay tuned. Before joining Doge, Akash Boba was already building an impressive resume. He graduated from UC Berkeley with a degree in management, entrepreneurship and technology. And if that wasn't enough, Boba interned at some of the biggest names in Silicon Valley like Meta and Palantir, the two tech giants that practically shaped the future of technology. But here's where things get really interesting. Even back at Berkeley, Boba made waves. One story that went viral was about how he saved the day when a teammate accidentally deleted an entire project just days before a deadline. And you know what Akash did? He rewrote the entire project overnight. And that's pretty mind-blowing, right? Now, I know what you're thinking. How does a 22-year-old go from rewriting projects at UC Berkeley to working on one of the highest levels of government tech reform? Well, that's where it gets even more fascinating. So what exactly is DOGE? It stands for Department of Government Efficiency. And it's a new initiative led by none other than Elon Musk. And if we talk about the goal of this department, then it is to overhaul and modernize government operations using cutting edge technology. And guess who Elon Musk hired to help him make this happen? Right, Akash Boba. Along with Akash Boba, there are five other young engineers aged 19 to 24. And now you might be wondering that why would the US government hire so many young, relatively inexperienced engineers for such a huge task? And that's where the controversy comes in. Critics have raised concerns about whether these young engineers who don't have decades of experience are really ready to handle some of the most sensitive and important government systems. Well, Boba and his peers have been granted top-level security clearance, the kind of access usually reserved for high-ranking officials with years of background checks. And this decision has sparked a lot of debate. Some supporters say that bringing in Young, fresh minds is exactly what we need, especially in a time when technology is moving faster than ever. They believe that these engineers will bring new perspectives and also speed up the modernization of government operations. And if we look on the flip side, then critics argue that despite their impressive skills, these young engineers may not be prepared for the massive responsibility that comes with working on sensitive government projects. But regardless of the controversy, one thing's for sure, that Akash Boba's journey is really incredible. From a student at UC Berkeley to a key player in a massive government technology overhaul, he's definitely someone to watch. And this isn't just about coding. It's about shaping the future of how government works in the 21st century. Now, speaking of big changes, you may have heard that Ramaswamy left, and let's be honest, people were pretty disappointed and shocked too. It was like when your favorite character leaves a TV show and you think, how will they ever recover from this? Well, fear not, enter Akash Boba. He's like the plot twist we didn't see coming. With all the buzz around his new role, he might just be the fresh young face to make up for Ramaswamy's departure and keep things moving forward. Maybe he's the real hero we didn't know we needed. What do you think about it? So what can we expect from Akash Boba moving forward? As part of Doge, he's poised to be a major player in shaping the future of government efficiency. His role in modernizing government systems will have a lasting impact and it's going to be exciting to see what he accomplishes next. What do you think about it? Is hiring young engineers like Akash Boba the way to go for government reform? Or is it a bit too risky? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you are also fascinated by stories like this one as we are, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update on the world of tech and innovation. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. See you in the next one.